Welcome. In the name of our crucified and risen Savior Jesus, we've come to hear his word and to uh, hear his word sung and to rejoice in the salvation that he has won for us uh, by his suffering, death, and resurrection. We, uh, you have a service folder in front of you, and or you should have it in hand, and we'll make use of that at this time. I do have to admit that uh, Connie, bless her heart, uh, she had so much to do this week, and uh, she asked me to take a look at this, and I looked at it briefly, but I didn't look at it close enough, and uh, I made a few adjustments actually in the service folder because it talks about us having word and sacrament service tonight, and we're obviously not having that, but we are having God's word sung into our ears tonight, and so bear with me on the adjustments. It's not her fault, it's my fault. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, we are gathered here in vigil and prayer to remember that our Lord Jesus passed over from death to life. On this day, we stand in the heritage of all the saints who have seen and boldly confessed the resurrected Christ. This is the Passover of the Lord, in which by hearing his word sung, we share in his victory over death. Let us pray together. O oh God, illuminate our hearts and minds with the presence of Christ. Give us the wisdom to reverently confess you as light in the midst of terror, life in the midst of death, and hope in the midst of despair. Through your word and sacraments this day, shed the light of your perpetual grace upon us all, that with increased fervor and intent, we may declare, Christ is arisen. Amen. May the light of Christ, who is risen in glory from the dead, scatter all darkness of our hearts and minds. Thanks be to God. was the Word, and the Word was with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God.
From the very beginning, Jesus was coexistent with the eternal God. In three years of earthly ministry, he pointed others to this loving creator of the universe, inviting them to be united with God in a life of faith. Thousands embraced this humble prophet and his message, believing him to be the long-awaited Messiah. As Jesus and a band of his closest followers entered the city of Jerusalem for the Jewish Passover celebration, they were greeted by great crowds of people shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Behold, the Lamb of God. Passover week in Jerusalem was typically filled with a blend of joyous celebrations and quiet reflections. It was a time for Israel to recall God's faithfulness over many generations. As Jesus gathered his disciples to share the Passover meal, they did so with a grateful heart look to the past and a confident assurance of God's presence in their lives. In the moments that followed, though, these followers became quickly aware that things were about to change. I have eagerly anticipated eating this Passover meal with you before I suffer, Jesus said. For I tell you, I will not eat of it again until it comes to fulfillment in the kingdom of God. As they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. For this is my body, broken for you. Then he took a cup of wine, saying, Take and drink, for this is my blood, poured out for you.
After the Passover meal, Jesus led his disciples to an olive grove called Gethsemane. Leaving them behind, Jesus went further ahead where he prayed alone. Overwhelmed with anguish, he cried out to God, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done.
In a matter of a few short hours following the Passover meal, Jesus was betrayed by his closest followers, arrested by an angry mob, falsely accused and sentenced by religious and government leaders, and now nailed to a cross between two common criminals. Mocked by soldiers, abandoned by those who knew him best, Jesus had been led, like a lamb about to be slaughtered, to a place called the Skull to be crucified. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land. Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. After he said this, he died.
After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. Out of the fear, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Let us praise the God of resurrection. celebration and a lead in to the continued celebration tomorrow as we gather together in our churches to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and the salvation that he's given to us. Uh, please take time after the cantata tonight to come up to each one of these uh, 
uh, members of the choir, they've, they've spent many weeks and they've worked very hard to bring you this cantata tonight, so please share your appreciation with them as I am attempting to do right now. Uh, also, I want to make mention that uh, we will, can't have something without having an offering. So we will have a free will offering tonight. Uh, there's plates in the back of the church, and the offering will go to the Ministerial Alliance. Uh, the churches in Cole Camp uh, have the opportunity to provide help to those who need help within our community, sometimes outside of our community, and so all of the money that's received will go to the Ministerial allow Alliance. Let's continue with prayer, shall we? Let us pray. Let's rise to pray. Father in heaven, you did not give up your son over to earth to decay, but rather raised him to new life so that we may know without a doubt that death has no dominion over us. Teach us to live steadfast lives of baptismal faith that others may come to know Jesus Christ, our resurrected Lord and Savior, in whose name we pray. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.